I'm Pete Truman. 20 years ago, we had a band. The Boogies. Well known. That day, something historical happened. We made our first album. This is where I am today in my LA mansion with my cart of pristine um, liqueurs. A 1738 bottle of Hennessy here. Um, it's beautiful, it just really helps you forget everything that happened in the past. And yeah, that's uh, kind of what I'm doing now. I just have some of my old uh, posters up here. This is my dad and me, we were playing catch a long time ago, but yeah, he's dead now, so they made a statue out of him. Uh, this would be James, and that's me shining the light on him, because back then I was a slit, uh, I was used for help and working. And this would be, uh, my good old uh, photos there, yeah. Here are my three children from three different women. This would be um, Tyson, he's five now. This would be Juliet, she is six. And this would be little Ruckus, he's nine. He has a birth uh, defection here on his left ear. And here's a view out onto the LA ocean. As you can see there, all the cities in the background, the ocean's right below that, it's beautiful. This would be my uh, hookah tab here for late night smokes when you're feeling down. This would be my leaf for smoking weed. This is my baby blue Kimball piano. Honestly, it's really nice. It's been, uh, it's been really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm Pete Truman and this is where I am today. Well, my name is uh, Henry Schneider. I used to be in the band The Boogies with Pete and uh, James. We had the breakout album, Music Stew. I just gotta do what I love. You okay? Sorry. Sorry to remember good times. So I'm struggling and trying to keep this nice apartment here. I even got all my Christmas decorations up. See, it's Nutcracker, Santa, Santa Man, Nutcracker, Elf. Oh wait, that's that's a, don't don't look at that. Uh, look at that up there. Uh, I'm very ambitious. Not quite successful. Think about another company. Uh, I think we'll call it Bitcoin. Uh, I don't know about it though. Karaoke. Home oh, close to. And I know I can't have it any other way. Sorry about death, um, fellas. Uh, just having some nice time to chill out here. Huh. Sometimes I get a little lonely at night, so cigars are my best friend. Christmas. This was my grandpa's jacket from World War Three. The Vietnam War. Many people don't take that war seriously, but I do. I wish I had more of this in my life. My humble abode. So, uh, I guess you're here to interview me. My name's James Jamison. I was a former member of the, the Boogies. Um, we released an album 20 years ago called Music Stew. Uh, I guess what I love about Music Stew is it's just so creative. You know, it was different. Because all the bands at, at our time, all they would do is play the same kind of music. Every song, every chorus, every verse. 
And the thing that really bugged me about it is I realized that there's more music than just playing the same thing all the time. My, my dad was a rocker, and he, he loved to play rock and electric guitar, and that's what I played um, in the boogies. And my mom, uh, she was, you know, she was a gospel singer. And the, the hard part about that is she thought that rock was evil. And I, taught, and I just always thought, there's nothing wrong with either of them. I think gospel's great. I always loved gospel, but I always knew that there was something about rock that just really, that really gotcha. And what other kind of music is out there and how can I combine it all? We, we had a mission to make music different. And we only had New Year's Eve 2017 to record that album. And now, here we are. So basically, the reason we record the album so quick is because you gotta do it in spats, okay? So you got, you got boom, bam, bop, bada bing boom, pow. And the reason why you do it so quick is because you gotta make sure that, that creativity comes out when it's supposed to. Because if you let it sit for too long, then you're missing out on all the creative moments. This is why uh, I, I started the boogies. Moonlight Diner. When I hear this song, I think of brilliance, um, integrity, um, quality. It's a it's a quality piece from the stew. Um, it's it's honestly just a just a brilliant piece. It touched my heart in particular. Um, because um, I met my wife, uh, Christina, there um, by the bar, and that's the place we met, was the Moonlight Diner. So this is important to me, not only for my wife, but for my children, from some of my other wives, that mean good things mean to me. They, good, they mean things. They're, they're important. So that's why I treasure this song. What's good, big man? Okay. Take one. Let's go. Move the light pattern. Let's go, big. So the uh, song Stunt Little Tykes was actually made for a kid show called Stunt Little Tykes, but um, this show actually got canceled a week after we uh, a week after we finished it because 
uh, it was something about a cafeteria profanity in a bicycle rack. But um, we just put it in the album anyway, so. Let's play this one, boys. Let's go. Alright, this is the start of the recording. What are we calling this one, boys? This one's gonna be called Stuntin' Little Tykes. In the key of C. In the key of C. That would be correct. Alright, boys, let's do this. One. C for two. Crack. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Good. Let's get out. He's gonna keep going. Okay. They'll, they'll, none of them have to be perfect. Well, I was here. All right, this... Little Pete. This song really, um, really spoke to me because early in my phases of life, I was a, um, a shorter child here um, in the hood. My friend uh, Terry, he would just ridicule me for my small and peculiar size. Um, it was not okay with me, honestly. It was um, really heartbreaking. So this song means a lot to me because it's me integrating my um, stress, all of my weight, all of my baggage. It's just me venting, basically, to the audience here. And I think it's just a brilliant song because it just shows who I am now because um, I'm no longer little, little Pete. I am an alpha male, I am resilient, I have a bank account as big as probably some of your mothers. I'm, I have a beautiful house, beautiful women, a very nice wife, and great kids. So, this is a beautiful song, I hope you appreciate it. Yo, Lil Peep died so I came to rap for him. Henry, can you uh, play that track? I like that. I respect that. I appreciate that. Let's go, James. Okay. 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 Yo, so last night I was sitting in the dark with my out, walking to the girl with the with the out, with the crown around my head. Looked at a duck. I said, what the f man, it's not cool to me. Think what I think, well, wow, ah, piece of grass. Looking at it. Guy over my shoulder has a pair on his crack. Man, why the fuck are you saying? Looking like a what the fuck are you saying? Piece of ass looking like a mother with a piece of little Yeah, playing my violin. Real slowly, I have a Chinese girl who's a friend, her name's Lynn. Yeah, kinda cool, man. Now, yesterday I was at the beach with one of my friends who's <laughs> just kidding, he's kind of good at the piano. Went over to his house. Yeah, yeah. Nice haircut, just kidding, you suck, you look like a <laughs> Okay, let's go. Okay, 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 okay. Speakers going in like boom. Looking in your brain like a poisonous mushroom. Deadly, a plain old felony. Anything less than the best is a felony. Love it or leave it. Can't play. Better it blows on the kid, don't play. If there was a problem, 
I'd solve it. Nine three fourth quarters, that's revolving it. Rubik's Cube, We're looking at your while I'm popping a cube. Just kidding, keeping it cool. It's a rap song, what the f are you doing? Spit that. One sack, two sack, three sack, three. One thought, two thought, three thought, four. Gotta get a flu shot, here we go. Going to the store, gotta get a flu shot. One thought, two thought, three thought, four. One thought, two thought, three thought, four. How many roses are on my door? One thought, two thought, three thought, five. But I hit another one on this guy. One five, two thought, two thought, three. But I hit it go when I go into the beach. Gotta get another one, I'm gonna be. Gotta put the violin, we're gonna keep. Again, I said I want the bottom of his hand. Gotta get another one, I'm gonna say. Gotta get another one, I'm gonna go. What the f do you mind even saying? I'm pushing the ball, hit him with another one, get a gay ball. What did it do? Did you do three? Hey, two off with the overwatch team. Jump tap in, looking at me. Gotta cut my hair, so it's fast. Looking at my best friend with a hat on. Backwards, mom. Looking at your mom in the pool with an ice. Gotta get a foot on, gotta get that ice. Here we go, going, gotta use some fast. My footer is coming off my ass. Okay, let's go really fast. Gotta get the shoes on my ass. Wow, well, I'm spanking you. So, um, something I've always been really passionate about is, uh, pirates. And, you know, I've always loved the pirate song, like, D -d 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 -d, and it was just, it just makes me happy inside. Like, I just love, like, the feeling of, Arr, matey, give me my pixie dust, Peter. And it's just, uh, honestly, I just feel like I connected with this song and made it sound like that, you know? And, like, th it, even if it was, like, 30 years ago, I still feel that feeling today. Construction. You ruined it! My father was a medical patriot, um, and at the same time, he was a crack addict. This was very hard for my seven year old heart to handle. Um, I needed something to relieve of my um, hurting heart. So I also had epilepsy. Something to treat my um, severe case of epilepsy was actually hydrochlorocytothiazide. Um, this drug basically to shoot it into your left butt cheek, but at the same time, it will numb your entire body to where you feel nothing, which is beautiful because I was in a lot of pain. Um, medicine for me is just releasing my inner self into a song, and it's just beautiful. Um, I do have to recommend hydrochlorothiazide. Um, if you do end up taking it though, ask your doctor because there is an increased um, size of your um, your muscle in your lower um, uh, gluteus will increase size by 50%. Your um, left um, tricep can grow down to a 34 degree angle. That is bad. You will also suffer vomit. Um, I think there is a th uh, throw up. 
in there and um, death. So just make sure you ask your doctor. Are you ready? No, you're not. We're gonna talk about medicine. Specifically, a lot of medicine. Laxative! Metropolol! Chronological thiazide! Cyclozaparin! Amoxicine! Skimbolitol! Fluzoxacide! Shredded! Sometimes on a cold winter night, I like to snuggle up by the fire while I'm eating up my vitamin C. I put on my pants of results every day in the morning. Sometimes when it's late at night, I eat some Viagra. Well, sometimes I eat some, well, Birchin. Well, sometimes I put on my Amoxite Cyline face wash in the morning. Birchin! Amitriptyline! Shredding! Sometimes with my girl, I like to give her some the awesome fly knack thyside. Sometimes when I'm home alone and no one's looking, I like to take some hydrochlorothiazide. Sometimes when I'm digging a crap on the toilet and nothing's coming out, I like to eat a big bottle of Zapatine to make sure it floods out very nice. Well, sometimes I like to add a Vizazidin and add a Vizazidin. That didn't make any sense. Lyrica. Oh, yeah. Did y'all pee? Xanax, latex, gloves, money, tights, marijuana, Elton John, gay Because here's the thing about music, it's not just confined to one genre, because here you've got rock, here you've got R&B, here you've got pop, here you've got gospel, here you've got metal, country, and the list goes on and on. And you keep going and what you realize is that even though each card is separate in their own way, they're all part of one deck. Because when they're in the same deck, it's really the way it was supposed to be. So with music stew, I wanted to make sure that every card mattered, every song, and that everything was clearly unique in its own right. So that's why, that's the inspiration I got from music stew. Now, the thing that, what it really means to me is I was going through a really depressing time. Um, I had just graduated college and my girlfriend had left me. But what I said is, hey, you got to get through me. And that's where this song came from. All right, we're rolling, kids. We're rolling.
down to the store And the lady looked at me She tried to take some money out of my pocket But I said, you gotta go through me, yeah You gotta go through me You gotta go through me, babe Before you get to me I'm a mess now, man. Human. Honestly, sorry, the nerve of some people to ridicule underprivileged workers and say they're not human. Everyone is a human unless you're not human. Think about that. Just think about that. Yes, I'm a slave. My name's Pete Truman. They all say I'm not human. I don't care what they say. I'll look away unless they try. isn't true I have feelings just like you man you call me a slave on my own property I know they say that my trouble
Yes, it hurts my soul. This is true. But I still feel Oh, won't you take me to Boogie Land? Boogie Land. Outside the boogie land, we're gonna keep it up. We're gonna build some sand. We're gonna take you out to boogie land. Gonna ride some roller coasters in the sand. Yeah, let's go in here with the cowbell. I need some more cowbell. One, two, three, four. Everybody, let's go to boogie land. Boogie Yo, 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 yo,